On our application, we're able to upload images and we're able to see the images using a Galleria view. Now, in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can upload images and then make thumbnail, thumbnails out of those images and also add watermarks to those images by using a library that's available on GitHub uh, called Thumbnailator. Now, this isn't just about creating thumbnails and creating watermarks. There's a bigger theme that we're exploring here, which is called enterprise integration patterns. Uh, also, a trend that you're hearing a lot of these days is called microservices. In other words, think about what we need to do to create a thumbnail. We need to copy an image. We need to modify the image, possibly modify it again when we add a watermark to the image. There are several steps here. These steps are fairly heavy steps, uh, processor intensive steps. They also require some routing. And that's what enterprise integration patterns are for. Uh, things like Apache Camel and queues like ActiveMQ, MQ Series, WebSphere MQ, IMQ, OpenMQ. There are several queue softwares out there. So that's the grander picture of where we're going. But to start with, we're going to integrate this the old fashioned way. Uh, we are going to go ahead and put it right in our program and then we'll pull it out later. In any case, uh, if we take a look, wh why do we need to do thumbnails anyway? If I look at the Plant Places mobile app, one of the things that you'll see here is a small thumbnail comes up when you do a search by color. Now, on a mobile device, we want to consider that we're not always going to have a, a very high performing network. We might be in a concrete building somewhere or traveling or something like that. So we want to be very limited about the amount of data that we're sending down to the phone. So we want to immediately resize these images. Now, in the real plant places, one other thing I might consider doing is doing a histogram or a color index. Maybe that's a good thing. Right now, honestly, I do that manually. That might be a good thing to think about. But in any case, that's why we need to think about thumbnails so that we could show them on a mobile device, so that we could show them in a results screen. Uh, if we look at plant places and we search for a plant, if I say something like our infamous red bud, you'll see that what comes up is a results screen with a bunch of these thumbnail images. Uh, when we went live with the plant places website, we found we were very quickly hitting our bandwidth maximum uh, and uh, because we were putting down full images and then resizing them in the browser. We were able to save quite a bit of bandwidth by uh, creating the thumbnail in advance and then sending it down instead of resizing a full scale image. So that's why we want to do thumbnails. Now I like this product thumbnail later for several reasons. One is it's hosted in GitHub, which we're familiar with. Another is it's very simple, uses a series of static methods. And finally, guess what? It is mavenized. So what I'm going to do, uh, I just searched for thumbnail later. To be honest, I just searched Google for Java thumbnail library, and this one happened to come up and met all the requirements I wanted. So I'm going to grab the maven information, the maven dependency, you see what's interesting is the version here it kind of has like a, a query, no less than uh, 4.0 or 0 0.4, somewhere around 5. So that will grab a, a, a version in the 0 0.4 something range. So an interesting way they've done the dependency here. So I'm going to run to our project now, and I'm simply going to add this dependency. And our POM XML dependencies area, uh, paste. This is where Maven's really nice. We know that there are certain things that a lot of projects are going to have, like Spring uh, and Hibernate, but a lot of times it's really nice to be able to quickly integrate these dependencies like so. So I save, and I'm going to go up and uh, right-click on the project and do a Maven update, so make sure we get this library. Update project, there we go. And uh, OK, and we'll let this run. Now let's go to the plant service save photo method. This is where we're currently taking that uploaded photo and saving it to our directory. And now what we're going to do is take a look at what Thumbnail Later recommends for us, which is simply, we'll do a, a very simple transformation here. So thumbnails.of and then the file name and then the size to output format. Okay, so we want to verify that we have our Maven dependency. So I'm going to say thumbnails.of 
and take a look. It's already filling in for us. Very nice. Uh, so let's look at the overloaded methods above. Uh, so it can accept an input stream, a string, a URL, a file, and, and guess what? We already have an input stream. The one that we are receiving in this method is a parameter, and the one we're using on line 105. So I'm going to say uh, thumbnails of, and then we're just, just going to pass in the input stream. Okay, uh, control shift O, organize imports. And then I'm going to say dot size, and let's say 100, comma 100, so a 100 by 100 uh, file. And then we are going to say uh, to file. And we need to pass in a file here. Uh, so I'm going to make a file uh, just similar to the one that we made up above, but just slightly different. And the difference is going to be instead of resources images directory, I'm going to put it in the resources thumbnails directory. And we're definitely going to keep the same name. Uh, so we'll keep the image name. Uh, I'm going to change this variable to thumbnail directory. Actually, make that lowercase n. And then I'm going to say file thumbnail equals new file. And we're going to say thumb nail directory comma unique image name so note I'm, I'm using the same name as the full size image up above uh, i'm simply putting it in a different directory this will make things a little bit easier if i want to go access the thumbnail i say okay same same image name different directory and so i simply say to file and i'm going to pass in the thumbnail file looks good to me save and i'm going to compile redeploy and then we'll take a look now one footnote i did a trial run of it just now with the video paused and i saw that the thumbnail program had a bit of trouble determining what format the input stream was so i have switched this instead of using the input stream i'm using the file that we saved the original picture to but nonetheless we have the original picture and then the resize and then we're saying we're going to save it to a new file here in the thumbnails directory so what I've done is I've copied this photo from the live plant places. These are red buds at Good Shepherd Church. And we're going to try this out. And I have a breakpoint set so we can watch it. So, uh, okay, uh, that's fine. We'll go with the date, maybe the 26th contributor tippy. I'm going to choose file. This is the Good Shepherd uh, Circus Canadensis planting. And I'm going to choose submit. And let's watch what happens now in the debugger. Okay, the stuff that we've seen before, it's going to go ahead and save a copy of the file locally. And now what it's going to do with that file saved, now we're going to create our thumbnail file, just the information about the file, not the contents of the file itself. And now we're copying from the original file to the thumbnail at a size of 100 by 100. Now I'm going to step over this. You will see a slight pause as it resizes the image. Not too bad, but a little pause nonetheless. You see it executed fine, and then we save the metadata about the image to our, SQL, our, our uh, MySQL database. So I'm going to go ahead and let that run. Now let's go back and see what we have uh, in our resources directory. I'm going to refresh the directory, and we're going to see uh, the thumbnail of my trial run, and then uh, the thumbnail that was just created. Notice that ends with uh, 04350. So let's click and, and look. And you see that's a thumbnail. It's a small image that's uh, suitable for what we had on the, like on the Plant Places mobile, about the same size we have here on the Plant Places mobile app. Uh, so that looks good. Okay, now let's compare that to the original. And remember what happened is it has made a copy of the file. So we just need to look for the same file name under the images directory. There we go, the one that ends with 04350. Double click to open, and you see that's the full image and the 100 by 100 thumbnail that was created. Not bad. So another thing we can do is add a watermark, but you get the idea. You see what's going on here. These are kind of post-processing steps that we can do with our application. So in our next video, we'll take a look at watermarking as well. Uh, I look forward to seeing you there.